So when decorating the living room and you're arranging your furniture, you wanna make sure that you have a comfortable area for seating. It doesn't make sense if it looks pretty, if it doesn't feel right. And so a great sectional is always important for me. I love sofas, but I'm really a sectional type of girl only because it creates a natural conversation zone. You have people facing each other, you know, if it's an L shape or a U shape. But at the same token, it's very sleek, it's comfortable, and you get more bang for your buck. Now, if you go for sofa, that's great too. Just make sure that it's deep enough that people feel comfortable. And then the rest of your seating can be what I call satellite seating. So if you have your armchairs or side chairs or ottomans, they kind of zone around the sofa or the sectional that you're using. What's easy about that is that if you have to move them out of the way, you have more people, you have less people, you know, it's not really gonna be cumbersome to lift and move and do all these different things. Also be aware of your table sizing. For instance, a cocktail table should be about 12 to 14 inches away from the sofa. It should be about maybe a little bit more than half of the size so that it's easy to move around, you can walk around it. You don't wanna stuff all your furniture in a room, but at the same token, you don't wanna feel like it's a desert wasteland. And then when you're done, make sure your surrounding areas are addressed, meaning that you have maybe a side console or a chest where you can put some you know, beautiful decorative items, maybe a bookcase, and then your TV unit, make sure that your TV is low enough that basically you have an easy sight line when you're watching from your sofa, but not too low that you're looking down on the TV. Make sure your TV unit is directly underneath the TV. It'll save when you're having to wire everything that you need to get it hooked up and started. I think if you stick with those guidelines, you should be fine at the end of the day.